Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hi, Danny Lambert with Plus Republic here. Uh, in the previous MailChimp video, we covered how to add an individual subscriber. In this one, we're going to be showing how to add multiple subscribers or a list import. Um, for example, if you're migrating off an existing email provider or if you have a whole bunch of people who have subscribed and it wasn't integrated and you need to upload them at once, this is how you would uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, so from here, on the home page, I go to audience and then Within here, I will click import contacts. So there's three ways to do this. Uh, my personal favorite, well, I guess there's two. I don't like copy and paste from file. This is kind of messy and it, it causes issues if you're not really clean. Uh, I prefer to do CSV because it allows me to clean it, make sure I have the right columns, right formatting and everything, save it, and then import it. Um, I also like integrated service if you have good hygiene around it because um, this will allow you to pull it in from Salesforce, from Google Drive, from Google Contacts, like a whole variety of places, FreshBooks, you name it. Um, so I'll show that in a different video. Um, but my favorite one, uh, if it's not like an integrated way of adding your contacts, like a form on your website automatically pushing to an audience, is to use CSV because it really allows you to format it and double check everything. Um, my second favorite would be integrated service, and I really wouldn't recommend copy and paste from a file. Um, so how you would do this, is I've already created a fake subscriber list. Um, these would be real people, obviously. Uh, and I have just three basic columns. This can be any of the, the various merge vars that you have within uh, MailChimp. But I have email, first name, last name, three emails, three names. They're all just extensions of mine. I would go ahead and save this as a CSV, which I saved as MailChimp subscriber upload. And then I'd come in here, click CSV or tab delimited text file, and go continue to set up. Within here, I would select the file that I'm choosing, which is the one I just showed you, and then I'd go continue to match. In here, you just make sure the columns add up, email, yep, first name, yes, last name, yes. If you want to skip any of these, say you brought in more columns than you're anticipating and you don't want to recreate it, you can just click skip and it will not be imported, and you can always just edit it and bring that back in. So like, say I don't want anyone, just, just skip it and don't import it. But once these all look good, you go ahead to organize, and here you can add tags, and you'll have your existing ones. So say these are all blog subscribers, just tack that on if you want to. Again, that's an optional step. Uh, choose the status, unsubscribe. Um, so you could also do an import list of people who unsubscribed um, or are cleaned or however you want to do it. But for this case, it'd be new subscribers. And I would click update existing contacts where they exist. We talked about this in the previous video. Uh, so I continue to review it to make sure that everything looks accurate. Three of three columns. I applied the tag of blog subscriber, uh, status of contacts equals subscribed, and update existing contacts equals true. All of that looks good. So I would continue to import this, and then now I should see five contacts, inclusive of all the people that I just added. Uh, so that's how you import a list, um, and then now I'll be showing you uh, how to add merge variables, you know, additional fields that you can use for your uh, audience, and then later on I'll also show you how to import contacts via the integrated service as opposed to a list upload. So if you're enjoying this, please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for some more videos.